Hello coders, I am back after the 4 month with another project that is insurance management system. In the last video we have seen blood bank management system. I have uploaded many projects like vehicle management system, e-commerce, hospital management, school management and many more. You can check it out on my channel. And before proceeding, please subscribe to the lazy coder and don't forget to press the bell icon. Okay, so I have already started the server for my project. So let's open our project. So this is the home page of our insurance management system. You can change this image and update this text also. And you can also add the footer section. Okay, so now I will discuss all the features that I have added in this project and I have written all the steps in my GitHub repository. So let's open this and you can also give the star and fork this repository if you like our project. Coming down, I have added some screenshots of our project and the features. Okay, so there is two role, admin and customer. So I will discuss one by one. First, I will see the features of customers. Okay, so first customer will create account and there will be no approval required by admin. After login, customer can view all the policy that are added by admin. If customer like any policy, then they can apply for it. When, whenever the customer will apply for any policy, the admin will be notified and it will go into the pending status and then admin can approve it. Customer can also check the status of policy under the history section. Customer can also ask question from admin. Okay, so we will see this by in our website. Okay, so first click on customer and create your account. Okay, so let's fill up all these fields and click on sign up. and click on sign up button okay after sign up successful sign up it redirects to me the login page so put it out here your username and password and click on login okay so this is the dashboard of the customer okay where you can see the how many available policy is there which is added by admin how many policy i have applied for okay how many policy category is there total questions asked by you okay so we will see this one by one here you can see there is four policy that is available and there is four category also okay so let's go to apply policy section and here you can see that there is four available pol policies that is added by admin and while creating or adding this policy admin have provided the details like policy name category some assurance premium tenure creation date and all these details okay so Cisco insurance policy comes under mobile category mobile insurance category and some assurance is 50,000 and premium is 2,000 per month okay and there is tenure in years okay and SPI life insurance comes under life insurance category and likewise okay so if customer like any of the policy then he or she can apply for it suppose I like the motor insurance policy then I can apply for it whenever I will apply click on this apply button it will redirect to me the history section and the status will be going into pending okay so let's click on apply button 
now you can see that here history section is showing here so if i click on history then it will redirect to me the same page and the status is in pending so whenever the admin will approve this applied policy it will come into the approved or rejected status okay and here you can see that on which date you have applied this policy so you can verify the date with the system date like 10 10th of july okay so now customer can also ask the question to admin if you have any doubt okay so i will ask some questions like uh, when I will get my maturity amount and click on ask button okay so after clicking on ask button it redirects to me the question history section and if admin wants to reply something then here you can see the admin comment which is showing nothing here because admin have not added any comment on these questions okay so uh, now i will log in with admin account and approve this policy and approve or reject this policy and can also add this comment section okay so let's uh, apply for one more policy so that admin can approve the one request and reject one request okay so let's apply for this insurance also let's click on apply button okay so there is three applied policy you can see it on the, your dashboard also applied policy is three showing here okay so let's log out from the customer account and log in as admin click on log out button and then click on admin so before logging into the admin account let's see how we can create admin account and what all the action that admin can perform so let's go to github so go to admin section and let's see admin account can be created using su create super user command okay and after login admin can view update delete customer and admin can also add update delete policy category like life health motor travel etc and admin can also update the policy and delete the policy and admin can also approve or disapprove the policy that is applied by the customer and admin can also answer the question that is asked by the customer okay so i will log in with the admin and perform this action so let's go to our website and login so this is the dashboard of admin where you can see all the features so total registered user is 4 listed policy is 4 listed category total questions that is asked by the customer okay so we will see this one by one so total registered user is 4 so let's click on customer here 4 customer is showing here and last one is the raju that is added by me okay so admin can update this customer and can also delete, delete this customer so let's suppose i want to delete this one so let's click on delete button okay so now only three customer is there and you can cross verify on your dashboard also so now you can see this total registered user is three only okay so listed policy is four and listed category is also four so now let's go to the category section here admin can view the category add the category and update and delete the category okay so let's click on view category section and here you can see this there is four category of the policy that is life insurance travel motor mobile okay admin can also add category so i will add one more category suppose there is property insurance and let's click on add 
now our total category is 5 so you can cross verify it on your dashboard also so you can see it okay now you can also update any uh, category if you want like uh, if you want to update this uh, so click on update button and you can give any name and click on update category okay and if you want to delete any category you can also click on delete button and it will be deleted let's go to the dashboard again so we have covered total registered user policy we have not covered this one we have covered this one and we will now we will see this listed policies and total questions so let's click on policy here you can see that there are many options is available first we will see this row then after that we will see this one okay so admin can view policy and add policy and update and delete okay so let's click on view policy where admin can see how many policies they have added and uh, all the these details like uh, premium tenure category and policy name okay admin can also add any policy so let's click on this section here admin needs to provide the category name by selecting the drop down button okay so here you can see this property insurance that i have added now so let's click on this one and give any policy name that fits for this category like uh, properties insurance we can give any insurance name like uh, home insurance some insurance you can give any amount and click on add after adding it redirects to me the view policies section okay and now the total policy is 5 and it will reflect on the dashboard also and you can update any policy suppose I want to update this one then click on update and change the name like double uh, A okay or give a you can give any name okay and just click on save update button you can see that name is reflected here okay so admin now can delete any policy if they don't like any policy or do not want to continue any policy okay now we will see this section let's click on total applied policy holder here admin can approve or reject the request that is made by the customer for the policy in the last you can see that there is three requests that is made by the Raju so admin can approve or reject this request so in this case we will approve these two requests and reject this one so whenever the I will approve or reject this request it will the status will be changed according to the approval or rejection so before approving or rejecting this request let's discuss these three sections so approved policy holder means what whenever I will approve any policy it will come into the approved policy holder and if I disapprove it it will show here and if the customer have applied for the policy and we have not yet responded it will come into the waiting section so let's click on approve policy holder here only two request is showing in approved status let's cross verify from here also so only two request is approved here okay and in the disapproved policy there is three so you can also cross verify that there is three disapproved request and in the waiting section there is three pending request that is made by the Raju so when I will approve the request it will come into this section and it will deduct from this request and if I approve this request it will add here so let's see this I will approve these two requests 
so let's click on approve again approve this section also so I have approved this request let's see that section also so you can see that two request made by Raju is approved here and in the pending status only one request is showing the pending so go to here and reject it so now there is no request that is in pending status so cross verify that also click here and you can see that no request is here and in the disapproved policy holder you can see that this one is disapproved okay so we have discussed this section and now we will see the questions part that is sent by the customer okay so customer can add comment after reading their problems suppose customer ask this question like when I will get maturity amount and admin want to respond to that question then admin can update the here and give the answer like uh, when I will get my maturity amount then admin can update like uh, after 8 month ok and click on update so you can see that admin comment is updated here so now I will login with uh, customer account that is Raju and see whether it's updated or not and also verify that I have approved two requests of Raju and disapproved one request of Raju so let's log out from admin account and login as customer okay so go to question history now you can see that admin comment is updated here okay and customer one customer can see their question only and admin can see all the questions that is asked by the total customers okay and go to apply policy or history here you can see that two request is approved and one request is disapproved so we have covered all the features and action that admin and customer can perform. We have seen all these features of admin and customer also. Now I will show you how you can run this project on your system. So let's open this repository in your system and download the code. And after downloading this zip folder, you need to extract that folder and after extracting you need to install some dependency in your system by running this command and after that you need to run this three command which will migrate and run your server okay and after running the server you need to hit this URL in your browser okay so before going please subscribe to lazy coder and press the bell icon Thank you.